Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see an extension of your previous program. So in previous program, we have seen about permutation. Here it is going to be combination. So with the same uh, set of logics, we are going to extend that previous formula so that I can able to calculate my combination in assembly language programming. So I'm going to verify the results in EMU8086 as well as your uh, lab hardware kit. So I can able to directly move inside your logic. So it is going to be combination. So I have to get the values of N and R. So if the same example uh, from the previous program, I can able to take it. So it is going to be uh, N is going to be six and R is going to be four, if that is the case. So I can able to calculate my uh, N factorial. So N factorial is N is six, right? So six into, uh, 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 25. So again, it is going to be R factorial. R factorial is going to be 4 factorial. 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. And after that one, it is going to be N minus R factorial. N minus R is going to be 2 factorial. So 2 factorial is going to be 2 multiplied by 1. So this is going to be 2 multiplied by 1. So cancel it out. 2 multiplied by 1. 4, 3, 2. 4, 3 and uh, 2 is remaining, right? So 2 is not been cut out. So 2 is remaining here. So I have to calculate it. So it is going to be 6 multiplied by 3 is going to be 30. After that your uh, value should be divided by 2. So the final output will be 15. So combination of 6, n is equal to 6 and r is four, uh, equal to 4 is going to be 15 in your uh, decimal. So you know that your hardware kit is going to be working in terms of your hexadecimal value. So this hexadecimal equivalent is going to be 0 f. So for the same values of n is equal to 6 and 4. So it has to calculate n factorial and after that r factorial and after that n minus r factorial. This is what I want. So in previous program, I have calculated by subtracting the elements first, subtracting n minus r. Uh, calculate the factorial of n minus r, put it in a temporary register. After that one, calculate the value of n factorial, so put it inside your register, divide uh, both the things, and I can able to get my output. So this is the logic for your uh, permutation. So just an extension. So again, I have to calculate my r factorial, so put it in some register. After that one, you can able to divide it. Else, first I can able to multiply uh, both the things and I can able to uh, divide uh, with the previous existing value of n factorial. So first, this is with your register, assume that this is going to be 1 and this is going to be r factorial is going to be 2 and after that n factorial is going to be 3. So I need 3 loops here. So after that one, uh, n minus r factorial and r factorial is going to be multiplied. So value answer of 1 and your 3 is getting multiplied. So it's going to be 2, right? So 1 and 2 is getting multiplied. So after multiplying it, 3 divided by 1 multiplied by 2. Like this I have to get in terms of logic. So this is the way I can able to calculate the uh, formula for my, uh, sorry, for value for my combination using this formula. So the same program, I can able to extend it for n one more loop for calculating the r factorial. After calculating r factorial, I can able to multiply it with n minus r factorial. And after that, I can able to take n factorial divided by r factorial multiplied by n minus r factorial. So like this, I can able to uh, convert this formula into equivalent codes and I can able to check it. So here, all the things are going to be same. First, logic wise. I can able to uh, ask like factorial program. So I got the values of n and I will get the values of r. So from any memory location, it can be 2000 and it can be 2002 with any of your registers, ax and bx, anything or dx and uh, bx and dx, all those things. You can able to take it with any values. So if you want to calculate the factorial, uh, first I will subtract it, right? First, I will subtract both elements and I will uh, get 2 factorial. So for calculating 2 factorial, Ax is going to be 0. So after uh, getting it, Bx is going to be 0, 1. So Bx is equal to Ax. 
same logic. So after getting that logic done, I can able to uh, um, multiply my so it is going to be BL, right? So BL is going to be AL. So multiplied by BL so that the final value will be in your AX. So put that value of AX in any of your register. So keep this ready. So after that one, you can able to, uh, this is their N factorial. R factorial is in the memory location of 2002. R factorial at memory location of 2000. So calculate the factorial for this one. For this one, again, AX is going to be zero. BX is going to be zero one. So after that, AL is equal to BL or BL is equal to AL, whatever it is going to be. So after that one, multiply it by BL and keep it ready. The same way, again, take the memory location of 2002 for calculating R factorial. This is for N factorial and this is for 2 factorial. So keeping all the things ready, first I can able to multiply it and after that I can able to divide it. So whatever things I want in terms of logic, I can able to do that one. So I can able to try this logic. So here there will be three loops. Instead of in permutation, it is two loops. Here it is going to be three loops. So if you are not watching the video of permutation, just uh, first see the permutation video, then you can able to come for combination so that it will be easy for you to understand it. So I can able to take this logic and I can able to put it inside my EMU8086 and I can able to check whether these things works. So same, all those things are going to be same. So pushing the value inside my DX and after the pushing the value of 2002 inside my CX, subtracting both the things, moving the DX value inside my CX count register. So calculating my two factorial. So after calculating my two factorial, uh, I can able to get the value. So I have taken directly those values here. So if you want, uh, I can able to take these values here instead of giving 06, it should be 2000 H and 2002 should be getting here, right? For calculating uh, R factorial and N factorial. So again, jump no zero, loop has to repeat. Jump no zero, loop has to repeat. Jump no zero, loop has to repeat. So for all those operations, I have to do it and I have to uh, keep those things ready. So this is going to uh, calculate my uh, here in this area. I am just calculating my two factorial. Here I am calculating my uh, in this loop two factorial, and here uh, I am going to take that element again, and I am going to push it in terms of my uh, loop two, which is going to be your uh, two thousand, which is going to be your n factorial, and here it is going to be your uh, R factorial. So I can able to do two divisions or I can able to make one multiplication and one division. Whichever you want, you can able to take it in any logic. So here, uh, while seeing the logic, so I have said like, uh, I can able to first multiply both the things in terms of um, R factorial multiplied by N minus R factorial. After that, you can able to divide it with uh, N factorial divided by your final answer. You can able to make the else. I can able to make two division operations also. So to make your output. So finally, X, I'm going to move it inside my 2004. So since we have already seen this program in permutation, only extension is from here to here. This is your extension, again, division operation. So after completing this one, I can able to see whether this logic works. So first I have to take my memory location flag status. So here I have given the value of 2000, right? So I can able to get the value of, give the value of 2000 here. After that, update it. So I can give the same value, right? So it is going to be 06, 00, and 04, 00, as like we have given in the previous permutation program. Same thing. So I'm not spending time here. You can able to see that video and you can able to come back. So after this one, I have to check whether this logic works. I can able to execute it one by one and I can able to check how far this logic works. So subtract. So subtraction is in your CX, DX. So I have to push it inside my CX count register, two factorial I'm identifying. So the loop has to repeat it two times. So once repeated, again, two times repeated, coming out of the loop, two factorial is calculated and it is there inside my AX register. 
So after that one, I have to push the value of 2000 into CX, which is going to calculate the value of N factorial. So it is going to be taking its value. So after that one, uh, see here. So this 2000 is going to be in your CX, which is going to be six factorial. So after that one, the loop has to repeat it six times. So finally, it is going to be 168. In previous thing, we have already calculated, right? So 168 has been calculated and uh, we can able to keep that thing ready. So after that one, I have to divide it with my BX. So divide it with my BX. So final value is going to be 168. So 168, I can able to move to BX register. 168 is there in my BX register. So after that one, again, uh, R factorial, I can able to repeat the operation again. Four times the loop has to repeat. So repeated four times. And after that one, uh, I have calculated the value of your 168 and I have put it uh, put those values inside my your output. So after that one, I have to get the values of uh, your four factorial. Four factorial is going to be 18 in terms of your hexadecimal calculation. So after that one, I have to push those values inside my AX and after that I have to divide it, right? So while dividing uh, those values, so you are going to finally get the value of 0, 0, 0 F. So that is what we have seen uh, in our program, right? That is what the output logic we want. So it is going to be 0 F. So this is your uh, output value which you want. So I got my uh, 0 F and I am pushing those values inside the next memory location. So it is going to be 0, 0, 0 F, uh, 0, 0, 0 F, which is the output which I want. So after that, I can able to halt the program and I can able to come out of the loop. So like this, I can able to calculate it for any of my uh, hexadecimal values for combination. So I can able to move into your um, lab kit hardware programming. So here it is going to be three loops, so three memory locations. So same program extension. So this division operation after uh, completing this division operation, just I will move to the memory location. I will solve that one, right? Instead of that, so this is the memory location and uh, this is the starting point. And uh, here in terms of your jump, no carry, this is your memory location. And this is your starting point. And here uh, in terms of your jump, uh, no zero, so sorry. It should be your 3030, right? So here it should be replaced with your 3036. Sorry for this one. So this is going to uh, repeat its loop here. So this is for two factorial and this is for six factorial and this is for four factorial. So like this, I can able to do those factorial things and I can able to uh, find it and I can able to make it in terms of my output. So it is going to be 0, 6, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0. Final output will be 0, F, 0, 0. So I can able to move to the next one able to see whether my program works in terms of my hardware also. So I have already typed the program and I will press U and I can able to just show the programs I have typed. So I can able to start with the memory location 3000. So AX 3000, 2000, sorry. So it is going to get the value of N. It is going to get the value of R, subtracting. It is going to give the value of 2. And after that, 2 factorial, identifying 2 factorial. So 3010 is the memory location. So jump no 03010. So after that one, pushing the value inside BX. After that one, CX, which is going to get the factorial, uh, six factorial, doing the six factorial here, incrementing CX. After that one, jump no 0301F. So after that one, division operation, I have to divide it and the value has to be pushed inside my BX. After that one, uh, getting 4 factorial, 2002, which is going to have the value of 4. Again, calculating 4 factorial. So, 3030 is my memory location, right? So, jump no 0, 3030. So, after that, moving the value, uh, pushing it into AX, and after that, divided with CX, pushing the values in 2004. The sort. I have completed the program. Reset. Substitute byte 2000 and 2000 get the value of 0600 and next value should be 0400, right? 0400. Yes. So after that, I have to press my reset and I have to go execute that command. Go 3000 starting location of my program and executing reset. Substitute byte. 
टू जीरो जीरो फोर इट्स गोइंग टू बी जीरो कंप्लीट माई प्रोग्राम so like this i can able to calculate the combination of any numbers if your n and r values are given so you just try with some other values with emu8086 and you can able to post those values how we are going to get your outputs you can able to post those values in your comments so that we can able to check how far your program is going to work try with different logic so we have already tried with first multiplication after the division right so you can able to try with that logic also check how it is working If there is, if you are facing any difficulties, please let me know in the comment section so that I can able to rectify those scores and I can able to give back to you. Thank you for your patient listening.